We have Queenstown in the red jerseys and uh, Amokyo Sack in the blue and white. Joining me today, I have my teammate from the National Beach Volleyball Team, Cecilia So. Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Nicholas. So, uh, Cecilia, could you give me a quick rundown on who we have on the court today? Okay, so for Queenstown, we actually have number 8, Hui, Ling, Hui Ying, and number 7, Michelle, and last but not least, 11, Rashika. Then from Amokyo, we have Amelia, number 12, Nadia, number 2, Trisha, number 9. Alright. Right now, the score is 2-1 to Queenstown Sec. The game has been pretty passive so far. Mm. Is number 12, Celeste, with the serve? Nadia with the receive. Mm. It was quite tight to the net. Very tight to the net. Mm. It'd be very hard to take that. Queenstown now lead 3-1. Celeste with the serve. Oh, good pick up from Trisha. Oh! I think one thing to note about Amokyo is uh, Trisha is a lefty. Like we spoke in the earlier match today. Yes. Being a left handed player does have its own perks. The ball is called out yeah. in favor of Queenstown. About two balls too long. Mm -hmm. So now Queensway, uh, Queenstown is actually leading 4 2 2. Yes, and now Hu Ying for to the serve. Mm. Oh, good serve. Oh, the ball is kept alive by Nadia. And over by Amelia. Oh, no. She doubled that ball. Yeah, who was it? Rashika doubled it. Mm. Was it? Yes. So, for those at home that don't know what a double is, a double is called when a player touches the ball with two hands at the wrong timing. Yes. So it results in the ball spinning. Yes, at that different is, timing. Yeah, that is considered a foul in volleyball. Yes, that's a good spike by Nadia over there. A very high reach from someone like her. Mm. She's tall? quite tall. Yeah, how there? tall do you think she is? Because uh, I walked past her earlier on, mm -hmm. so I'm 172. I think she's probably about 175 or 6. Yeah. Maybe even taller than that. Who knows? Yeah. Oh. That's a good spike by number 12, Celeste. A very good line from Celeste. Definitely mm. on purpose and really on point. Yes. Too much for Amelia to take. I think if we go back to the topic of uh, height, uh, it seems Amokyo does have the advantage here with Nadia. Definitely. Yeah, that high reach really is going to yeah. help them a, lo a lot in a lot of circumstances. Oh, that's a good spike again. Oh. Nadia sets the ball over. I think it was going out actually, but kept alive. Oh. And the ball is out by that Celeste. Was close. It was a close. I almost thought it was going to touch Nadia's hands too. Mm. But earlier on, Nadia did a great job by trying to set the ball back to the, uh, to the end of the court. Mm. So that, because it was empty. Yes, yeah. A smart play by Nadia. Out by Celeste. Oh! And the double is called again on Rafiq. Rashika, sorry. Mm. Queenstown now, now trailing by one point. Yes. Amokyo 6, Queenstown 5. It's quite a close match. Trisha to serve and it's out. Quite by a long way as well. Mm. I think serving out in that type of occasion really does bring the pressure back onto your team. Yes. Now the score is even, 6-6. Six, six. So let's see serving. Nadia with the pick up. Oh, right over back. Oh, and it's back again to Amokyo. Ooh, oh, that was tricked there by Amelia. She wanted to pretend she's setting over, but she set for her friend. Yeah. Good up. Good spike by Trisha. Oh, oh, Nadia with the high reach. Over the net. Yeah. One of those uh, overpasses, mm. that's what it's called. Yeah. Can really be deadly if you have someone like Nadia at the net. Yep. Okay, right now we have uh, Queen Star who is calling a timeout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, Nadia, uh, Nadia is doing a very great job in scoring all the points. Mm -hmm. Same to Trisha as well from Mamakyo, who's uh, scoring her, her, her the points with her left hand spike. Yes, a left hand spike. Yeah, it's definitely something that Queenstown have to get used to. 
I think if I were Queenstown right now, I would really want to figure out a way to deal with uh, the overpowering height of Nadia. Because mm. I think speaking from experience as well, like being pretty tall is very, very good as an advantage in volleyball. Yeah, I think they have to take advantage of every single ball they get and not lose it. Mm. Amelia to serve straight into Rashika. Okay, oh, Rashika was smart drop, but it's kept alive. Okay, good ball. Oh, Nadia almost got them there. Oh no, and a fumble by Emilia. The ball goes out. From this game, we can see there's a lot of sneaky plays, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to trick each other. That means they are actually thinking while playing. Yes, yeah. I think, yeah, that's one thing that was mentioned earlier. As mm. soon as the game um, becomes a 3v3, uh, it calls for less of a demand for the physical and more for the mental. Yeah. There's a service ace by number 8, Huying. Huying, yes. I think on the side of Queenstown, uh, how do you think they're faring right now? And uh, who are the players that we should really look out for? Mm, I think their defense are actually not bad. I think uh, Celeste have good spikes and also defense together. Mm -hmm. So I also see the team are actually quite sticking together So they are actually working together to get all those uh, loose and empty ball Yeah, so it's quite interesting And that's a good spike from uh, Trisha, number 9, the lefty of Amokyo Yes I think one thing that we could note is um, Nadia's presence mm. as a, a player at the net Because, um, because it's 3v3 uh, she takes the responsibility of blocking and at mm. the same time setting. So I think doing her job as a setter and blocker is very, very helpful for Amokyo you now. Yeah, it's quite rare for a uh, uh, top player to do the setting because uh, yes, normally yeah. we put them to do spiking. So mm -hmm. it's quite interesting how uh, Amokyo have actually tried to form, form it their team. Uh, yes, yeah. Team. I think it's quite a popular strategy to get your blocker to also set for the team. Yes. Oh, that was service a ace. Yeah, that was a very good steep serve by Rashika. Mm -hmm. And now Queenstown are at set point against Amokyo. Oh, and a timeout is called by Amokyo. So Cecilia, if you're Amokyo right now, what would you be your next play here? Mm, definitely a good uh, pass, a mm -hmm. good serve a pass to the setter so that uh, maybe Nadia can attack with her strong spiking. Mm -hmm. So that would be a great ideal. Ide ideal format la, uh, or ideal play la. Yes, that's yeah. true. I think um, yeah, what Amokyo needs to do now is to get a really good first ball and uh, pump that ball to Nadia and so to let her do her job. Now we have Rashika going for the serve. She currently has an ace right now. It's another service ace from Queenstown. The ball just seemed to hit equally between the back two players. Yes. I think one, those are one of the hardest balls to pick up. One of the seams, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, then uh, so Queenstown have actually won the first set of the first sub game. Mm -hmm. mm, so let's see how uh, Amokyo will fight back yeah. against them for the next set. I think. Uh, We'll come back to you in a minute. Welcome back to the NSG B Division South Zone Semi-Finals. Now we start the second set of the first sub-team. 
for the match Queenstown versus Amokyo Secondary. Uh, Rashika has just served an out ball, so Amokyo leads 1 0 now. Oh, and a mistake from Hui Ying of Queenstown to drive the ball a bit too far for Rashika's reach. Queenstown have actually won the first set earlier on, so let's see how they play against Queen's Amokyo right now. Quite unlucky for Amokyo to not pick up that spike. Mm. That ball landed right between both of their back players. Right now, Celeste to serve. Oh. Okay, good save by good Nadia. Good save by Nadia, yes. Alicia over. Free ball for Queenstown. Oh, a good save from Rashika. Oh. And a net touch is called. Against Hui Ying. Yes, I think Hui Ying flew in when she was doing her spike approach, so she flew into the net. I think one thing we could note there is uh, the scary reach of uh, Nadia again, because uh, Hui Ying did try to tip the ball over, but mm. Nadia was already there. Yes. Celeste with the spike. It's a bit too little for them. Mm. Oh, and a smart placing of the ball by Nadia, straight into the corner of Queenstown. Mm. Amokyo are now leading 4-1. A pretty strong start. Yes. Let's hope they continue this. Mm -hmm. Shisha with the serve. Oh. That's a quite an unorthodox way to serve, don't you think? Mm. With a close fist. Oh. oh my goodness. A Nadia. good spike by Nadia. I guess in volleyball, sometimes uh, being tall has its perks, advantages, and all. I think right now it's not just a poke, it's just it's quite broken. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh mm. Rashika looking for that cut a bit too much. Mm. A timeout called by Queenstown. Yes. So Cecilia, how do you think Queenstown is faring in the set so far? Mm, I think they are not performing as well as the previous uh, set that they played because they make a lot of mistakes because uh, so far have I, se I have seen is like serving mistakes and also for example the spikes I think maybe Rashika have faced too out of the court uh, too much so she have actually faced the wrong direction so mm -hmm. the ball went out so I felt like um, this type of thing can minimize because you have yes, such yeah. so much empty space in this 8x8 court mm -hmm. yeah. So I think they just need to keep their composure and perform well. Hopefully this timeout will do them good mm. and they will find their putting it back into the set. Yes. Now Amokyo leads 6-1 against Queenstown. Alicia serves. Who's set by Rashika? Oh a good pickup from Trisha. Mm. Sorry, I think I mentioned her name as Alicia, not Trisha earlier. Sorry oh. about that. Okay. Oh. Right, we aim to serve. Straight into Nadia. Oh. Here, yeah, free ball for Queenstown. Oh, Rashika with a smart dump at the net. Yes. I think it's really smart of her to spot the empty space. At the back, yes. Exposing uh, Trisha's um, neglect. Okay, weighing with the serve. And that's an out ball. Oh, that's an in ball. Service ace again for mm. weighing. That was pretty steep. It was right on the line. Yeah. Wow. Queenstown are now on a 3 0 run right now. Mm. They seem to be almost catching up. Oh, and another service ace from mm. Huying. Not a bit of our camera, but that's all right. I think now uh, Queenstown is really, really close. They can sort of see the back of Amokyo in the race. Oh, but Huying serves straight into the net. Now Amokyo is leading 7 to 5. Same as the first set, it's quite a very close game. Oh, oh! Rashika tried to save it. A that really was a good, good effort. effort yeah. yeah, a great effort from Rashika. 
a bit unlucky though. Could have played it a bit more into the court. Mm. A bit level your serve. Yeah, actually, I think it's an Amoku thing where they serve with a close fist. It yeah. It's quite unorthodox, but it does give the ball a lot of float. So that's one thing they yeah. can they're doing. Actually, I think serving with a close fist is really old school, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's really old school volleyball. I agree. Ooh. And the ball served out by Amokyo. A bit too much strength in there. Yeah. The score is now 9-6 to Amokyo. Queenstown trailing by 3. Ooh. And a service ace from Rashika. I think so far, Queenstown have been having a lot of uh, fortune with their serves. Mm. A lot of sc points scored from aces yes. and breaking their defense. Good receive from Nadia. Oh, that was wow. a strong spy. Good pick up by Rashikado. Celeste. Ooh, right at the corner of the court. Right at the back corner. That was a good long spy over Great there. Cross spike, court. Yes. Yeah. Finding the dead corner on the court. Mm. Scores 9 8, Queenstown. Closing the gap. Oh. Wow, and another service ace from Queenstown. They brought the score to a tie, 9 to 9. And a timeout called by Omokyo. Mm. So if uh, Omokyo win this set, they will play a third set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then if Queenstown have win this set, then this will be the end of the first sub game. Yes, it is. Mm. I think um, the Omokyo coach, oh sorry, the uh, Queenstown coach is uh, just telling the players to stay composed and make less mistakes and uh, he kind of understands that the serving is what is winning them points now. Mm. Because there's no deuce, so every point really matter mm. since they are playing yes. very close to the set point. Another serve by Rashika. So far with three service aces this mm. game. Oh. oh, the boss served out. It is now set point for Amokyo as Nadia serves. We have Nadia with the serve. Good pick, Good pick up. up from Rashika. Easy ball over. Fisher with the tip. Oh. And a double is called against Rashika. Amokyo takes the second set of the first sub game. Yes. So they will be playing the third set right now. Yes. And so the set ends with Queenstown 9, Amokyo secondary 11. Mm. So, Nicholas, what do you think of. Uh, what, do, what do you think will happen in the third, sub, stu, third set? The third set. Mm. I always think that um, if you win the set before, you can always win the next set afterwards. So, I think Amokyo is going to ride this wave of um, confidence straight into the next set very well. Yes. Uh, but Queenstown is showing a lot of. Uh, Perseverance, a lot of composure in the mm. way they play. Uh, a few mistakes here and there, I think, yeah. mainly from Rashka. Yeah, especially the double set. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, double set that's happening throughout these two sets that mm -hmm. ha uh, just played. La. Yeah, like although she might not be doing that a lot in training, it only counts on the court. So, uh, if I were the coach, I would just tell Rashka, just treat this as training, you know, forget the doubles. So uh, join us back in a minute for the next set. This is Nicholas and this is Cecilia. Thank you. <laughs> and welcome back. And welcome back to the third set of the first sub game between Amokyo and Queenstown, the South Zone semi-finals. Starting off with Bashika as a server. Last set, Amokyo had won the game with a score of 11 to 9. Let's see if they can carry that momentum into this set. The rally continues. Oh, good pick up from Nia. Oh, smart play by Rashka. Yes. As you mentioned earlier, although like, Rashika made a lot of mistakes, can, we can tell that she also scored a few points mm -hmm. for Queen's Town itself. Yes. 
Rashika with another serve. Oh, it's picked Amelia up easily by Emilia. Nadia with the spike. Oh, it is good, but doesn't find the floor. Nice spike by Trisha. Oh. oh no. So Rashika goes straight into the net. Yes. I think she was a bit slow in that spike approach, mm -hmm. yeah, causing her to hit the top of the ball. Into yes. the net. Your approach is really important in volleyball. Mm. Like the speed and the length of your steps do determine mm. how high you can get and uh, the timing you get under the ball. Yes. I think that was a touch out by Rashika mm. on the chase for the ball. Nadia with the serve. Oh. I think there are a lot of serve errors in this game so far. Definitely one from each player so far. Yes. Service are quite important, uh, especially in this 3v3 format because uh, you only play 11 points for one set. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, definitely need to work on all the servings. Yes. Okay, that was a good serve by Celeste. He trickled over the net. Yeah, Queenstown do recognize their strength here. The serving does give them that easy break. Oh, and another service ace for Queenstown. Yes. They now lead 4 2 in the semi finals. Celeste with the serve. Oh, it's kept in this time. Okay, a free ball for Queenstown. Oh! Oh no, a bit of communication error. Yeah. But I felt like that ball was definitely savable. Yeah, there but they didn't know who wanted yeah, to go for it. There wasn't a need to panic so much. The mm. ball was quite high. Oh. <laughs> Nadia. Mm. I think uh, Kristal should try to pass the ball away from the net. Mm -hmm. And spiking a bit more away from the net as well. Yes. To avoid the threat of Nadia. Oh man, Nadia with a huge spike at the net. Yeah, she barely jumped. She barely jumped as well, but that reach. Mm. I don't think anything, anyone's gonna stop her at the moment. Mm. Actually, Jeez. for her, I think she has very good swing. Yes, she does. Her arm swing. She reaches her highest point very, very well. Yes. Well, a good spike from Trisha, and even better receive from it's less. Ball's dropped. Wow. You can see Nadia's expression the whole time. She's like deadly serious. Yes. Even though she seems to be the one scoring most of the points. Mm. Right Kay. now we have a court change for the third set. Uh, uh, cause, uh, because normally for the third set, we actually do court change so that every players, uh, each school can have like a fair, uh, fair time, time yeah. on like e either side of the court. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so Amokyo serve, 6 4. Uh, Trisha serves it out. For the past three sets, all the points are actually very close in score. Mm -hmm. Like for example, six, five, which is right now. Queens now did make uh make use of their serving chance mm -hmm. and they serve the ball out. Amoke now lead seven five. Oh, I think ever since that caught switch, everything's just been going under the net. Rashika with the serve now. We know how she can be with the serve. And it is a service ace again from Rashika. She has brought the score to a tie. Mm -hmm. I think it's not about Rashika's uh, strength or steepness in her serve, it's more of like the placement. Because mm. that really just did clip the line. Oh. Service mistake. 
I guess as we mentioned, service is really important. As you can see, the scores are very quickly changing. Russia comes for good receive. Well, she sets it to the back. Nadia keeps the ball alive though. And it's a wonderful point by Nadia. Not sure if she really meant it though, but definitely a very smart play. Playing the ball parallel to the net, straight into a cut. Oh, a timeout call by Queenstown? Uh, I believe it was Queenstown, yes. So Cecilia, uh, if you were Queenstown right now, what would you be telling your team in a situation like this? Definitely to lesser the mistake and also more communication in terms of when they're playing. Because I can tell like sometimes uh, when they pick up a ball, then they get confused who will be touching the ball second. So I feel like they need to work on that a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the timeout ends and we'll see how Amokyo will do one point away from match point. I think they also for Queen's they can rely more on uh, Celeste, number 12, mm -hmm. instead of Rashika because uh, Rashika did make quite a few mistakes in this entire mm -hmm. game. Yes. So uh, I feel like Celeste is still quite stable, so maybe they can try to set to her more. Alright, see. Oh, and Celeste goes for the serve this time. Amokyo 9, Queenstown 8. Good pick up. The ball's up for Nadia. Wonderful play from her. Seeking the back of the court. Nadia see the empty spot and just scrape away in for it. Yes. A very intelligent player I think so far. Oh, small miscommunication there. Yes, as you can see, as I mentioned, Celeste scored that point. Oh yeah, Celeste did, yeah. I think this late switch up for Queenstown can result in the win for them. Oh, and a timeout is called by Amo Kyosek. Yes. So Celeste, uh, it's a pretty tight match so far, but who do you think is going to walk away from this with uh, the win? Oh, wow, this is a tough question because I think um, they are equally playing as well and Sometimes they they basically is like playing a stock market. The the players go up and down their yeah. level of play, so it's a bit hard to choose. They're very uh, unpredictable, we would say these players. All right, Huying to serve. This is match point for Amokyo. Um, and a service ace from Queenstown evens up the score. Yes, Amida tried to save it, but to no avail. Amokyo needs. To hold their ground here. There's no deuce. Yeah. And a service ace against Trisha gives Queenstown the set and the match. Queenstown now leading with the first win of the first sub team. And uh, they seem to have done it in a very competitive uh, competitive spirit, yeah? Yes. So uh, the score ends 2-1 to one for the first sub-team. Cecilia, your thoughts? Mm, I think this is a really very great play. As, I, as you can see, uh, definitely it's quite unexpected because Chris down from the last moment went from uh, trailing from 3 points to shoot up to win this entire mm -hmm. third set. So quite exciting to see that all the players didn't give up. So, yep. Well, definitely an exciting match to behold. Now, we will now be playing the second set, uh, I mean the second sub team of the day. Uh, do stay tuned, we'll be back in just a minute.
Hello and welcome back to the National School Games B Division Girls Volleyball. Today we have the South Zone semi-finals ongoing. Currently, Queenstown are now leading in the uh, score overall. So uh, Queenstown has won the first sub team match with a uh, in a with a score of two one against Amokyo. A very tight match so far. Both teams seem equally matched throughout the first sub team. Now we shall see what will be what will be happening in the second sub team match. And, uh, today joining me again is uh, my teammate from the national beach volleyball team, Cecilia So. Hi Nicholas. Hi again Cecilia. Welcome back. Right now we're starting off with Faith serving into Queenstown. Okay, a quick run now of the players on court right now. So from Amokyo, we have Faith, th number 13. We have number 8, Trina. And then we have number 5, with Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne just played a lucky point there. Yes. And then from Queenstown, we have number 10, Zadie, number 1, Sinet, number 16, Lily. Uh, oh. I think so far the set's gone quite a fast pace. Uh, we've got a few spikes coming over across the net. Now we have Nelly to serve Queenstown. Oh! That was an amazing set from Nele. A really really good jump float serve. Yes. I think, uh, one thing to mention about uh, volleyball is that there are multiple different types of serves in the game. Mm -hmm. As what you're about to see now is a jump float serve where the player aims to serve the ball with almost no spin yes. to let the ball sort of float around in the air mm. making it more unpredictable and harder for the receiver to take. Yes. Float surf is a very good attack weapon actually mm -hmm. because you can definitely score points with it depending on how you execute the uh, movement. Mm. Wow. There's yeah. three consecutive serve by Nelly. Amazing surf. The serves are not just uh, going over the net, they're really dipping down, mm. finding the court. The corners as well, the lines. Yeah. Alright, Roxanne yeah, manages to keep it alive. Nearly sets it to the back, but it's easy for Amokyo to take. Oh. Oh. And a good play from Zale of Queenstown. From what I can hear, I can tell that uh, Queensway have eh, Queenstown have good communication because they are really shouting for the ball. So, for example, uh, if Sally wanted to set the ball to it eh, or Nelly want to set the ball to eh, Nelly want to set the ball to Zaley, she will shout her name. Oh, uh, the name rhymes. Yeah, Nelly and Zaley. <laughs> I think uh, one thing we could note about Queenstown is that uh, their team definitely seems a lot more all-rounded. Right now, they are pretty much dominating the set with Nelly serves. They score 6-1 now to Queenstown. Yes. If Queenstown win this uh, subset team, they will be the ones going through to the finals. Yes. To face uh, Queensway, it's like mm. the Battle of the Queens. Oh, oh good, good spike from outside. Zeri fails to keep it alive. Oh, Zeri was uh, kind of saying the the light was in her eyes. Oh, uh, kind of bright. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, it is kind of bright when you look up towards it. Yes. Oh. So a bad pass. Yeah, a bad pass from uh, Sinead. It's a free ball over for Amokyo Sek. Roxanne oh. with a good spike. And it's a touch out yes. for Amokyo Sek. Mm. 
Armor kill now 4. Queen Sinek, sound 6. Yeah, Sinek tried to block it. But unfortunately, it slipped off her hand. I felt like she could reach more over the net so that yes. she can shut down the spike. Yes, uh, it's a common misconception in um, volleyball where people assume a higher block would be a better block, but actually, it's uh, how well you can reach over the net. Yes, that's a good spike by Zeli, by the way. Now uh -huh. oh, she's serving. An easy ball. Oh, fun. oh, and it's spiked out by Roxanne. Mm. Roxanne. Oh, she's Damn. Queenstown are now riding the wave right now. Mm. Amokyo have called for a timeout. So Nicholas, what do you think uh, Amokyo should do to catch up with Queenstown? I think definitely dealing with those tough serves, jump floaters from Queenstown. I don't. Uh, from experience, I think um, Amokyo doesn't really have jump any jump floaters in their team, so it's really hard for them to train against it as well. So definitely, Amokyo needs to revert back to found foundational moves and like really focus on um, keeping the ball in and giving a good ball to the setter yes. for them to convert into a point. Because uh, Roxanne is a a very very good spiker, but she's kind of missing the set right now. And like I said, the jump float serve from Zeli and Neely are very very deadly right now. Yeah, they rhymes. I have a feeling they are twins. Yeah, I think. Oh, <laughs> twins. Maybe sisters. I, I think. Uh, actually, sure. is it pronounced? Oh, and a great spike from Roxanne. Oh, a great block also. Let's see if she can convert it this time. Oh, and she places the ball out to give Queenstown the set. I mean, if our I'm okay right now, I would kind of forget about the set and uh, really focus on winning the next. Forget the pass and move yeah. on. I mean, a score of 11 to 4, it is quite a quite a stomp by Queenstown. Mm. Definitely have to forget about it and focus on the next set. Yes, but uh, that's now when we can see uh, when Amokyo get a good pass, then they have a good set and then a good spike by Roxanne. So th I think that is what they should continue to do in a second set. What are your op uh, opinion? Uh, definitely Amokyo should be relying on their main attack force which is probably Roxanne at the moment. Because mm. um, it doesn't matter if you have uh, great spikers because uh, if you can't have good defense you can never really play volleyball to the highest level so Amokyo definitely needs to do something about that and to just let Roxanne do her thing to just go up and uh, spike the ball like you can see what she's done she did it a few times just now yes. very very strong very very steep I think uh, Amokyo have a good chance in winning this set actually this is just how well they can cope with the pressure of the serves. We have Zeli as well. Sorry, Neely. Neely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the serve is out. Can you hear the Amokyo coach shouting out to the players, letting them know? Mm. I think uh, Amokyo can talk a bit more also. Yeah, I think yeah, communication is a. Uh, a big part that they aren't really playing part in. Sinead with the ball over, and it's out. Amokyo are now leading 2-0. I think she hit the ball a bit too low, so the ball went a loop, a long yes. loop. Yeah. Definitely could put more rep into it. Oh. Good stuff. And Sinead gets aced. That's the first service ace from Amokyo actually. Mm. with the serve. Yeah! And another service ace for Amokyo. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, Queenstown were to call a timeout right now. Mm. The score is now 4 0. Amokyo is having the momentum. Alright, Sinead does get the ball up in the end. Good spike from Neely. Oh. 
Oh, nearly placed the ball in. And a huge miscommunication from Amokyo. I think um, Peng Fang has probably set the ball a bit too low. Yes, yeah. Like those type of balls, you definitely just want to keep it high and in front of your spikers. Well, good save from Mary. She almost keeps the ball in play. Oh, but, but that was a good save from Mary. She tried to get a third ball over. You can see uh, how athletic Mary is from the way she moves in the court. Definitely a very nimble and fast player. Yes. Well, I'm pretty sure actually. Zaylee and Nelly are really good attackers and as well as uh, defenders. They really are covering the entire court. Alright, the set a bit too close for Axan Viking. Oh. Wow. I think that could have been covered up. Yeah, yeah, that could have been picked up. I think Peng Fan just uh, had a slight error in her judgement. Yes. She felt like she needed to swing her body that much, yeah. Definitely could have just popped it up. Yes, yeah, Sinet with the serve. Roxanne with a good first ball. Oh, oh. And she flips it out. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I was expecting from Roxanne. I mean, that's a great idea, but just too much bang or wrong direction. Yes. I think maybe the set was a bit too far from the net for her liking as well. Yes. Okay, Roxanne for better pass this time. She wraps the ball over. And a good cut shot from Sunny gives Queen's Town the point. Mm. They're actually catching up with the score. Because before that, they were actually uh, losing 0 to 4, but now they are 4 to 5. Mm. Roxanne with a very good first ball. Nice one! That was a very good rep to that ball. The ball spin very fast. I think that ball went over the block and inbounds as well. Yes. So very good height and spin in the ball there. Mm. On the kill, now serving. Hong Kong serving. Alright, it's a good pickup from Neely. Hong Kong for a good pickup as well. Roxanne at the net. Oh. Takes it very well. And she gets the point. That was a good effort by Nelly. Mm -hmm. I think um, maybe the net's a bit too flimsy for for the ball to to kind of yeah hold on to the net. Wow, Nelly showing a lot of volleyball IQ there, faking the jump set into a like a dump across the court. Yes, Trina thought that was out. Wow. Oh. The service is again for Navy. We know how she can be with the serve. Yes. That jump float. The score now is 6 to 7 with Queen's down serving. You can see how far Navy stands back on the court. Uh, you probably can't see it now on the screen, but she stands almost. 3 to 4 meters behind the, the end line for her to serve, so it really does give her that runway to hit the ball with such speed. Yes, now I'm a good set catchy call for a timeout because I uh, can tell the players are not doing so well mm -hmm. at this part, so hopefully this timeout will bring them an advantage. Yes, because if um, Queenstown do win the set, they will be the ones to go through to the finals to face Queensway. Yes. So Amakyo really needs to throw everything they have at the set and the set after this to even have a chance to go to finals. Again with the serve. It's a good first ball from Roxanne. Nice one. And the ball is out. Yeah, Mokyo coach telling Roxanne it's okay. 
it's good a good encouragement. Yeah, it's a great encouragement for Roxanne, the main spiker. It's a good first ball from her again. Let's see if she can make much of it. Oh, good hit. Straight into Navy. Oh, okay. Now the point goes back to Amokyo Sack because they didn't have hit in the net. Mm -hmm. The score is now tied. 8 8. Wow, these two teams are really evenly matched. Yes. yes. The ball is judged in for Amokyo. And you can see the Queenstown girls exclaiming, uh, shouting that the ball was out instead. But, uh, well, it does happen in volleyball. The, the umpires do see it differently. Too much strength out in ball, that yeah. It's an out ball from Trina. Another tie in score. Mm. Serving to Pung Pung. The ball's over. It's a free ball for Queenstown. They leave it aside. Oh. 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 And she launches it away out of the court. That's a way. I, I felt like she could have kept calm. Eh? She could have just uh, played it over and let play go yeah. on. Quite a shame for that to happen. Oh, that wow. was a lucky shot. I think Amokyo does have another chance at this. Mm. Service <laughs> is very important right now. You can see the Amokyo coach thanking um, Trina for that play, that lucky point. Roxanne with the serve to Nelly. It's a good pick up. Communication, communication, communication. Uh, they don't seem to be communicating that much. That's oh, a good pick up though. Roxanne with the spike. Oh no, this is really nerve wracking. Communication, communication. Oh, is the ball still alive? Oh zero. no! I think there was a huge mix-up at the end there. Like um, it seemed like uh the ball was still being played by yeah. Amokyo, but uh, actually the ball uh the, the referee did call a net touch yes. by um uh, Roxanne at the net. So um, uh Queenstown is let off easy with that point. Yeah. This actually this sub game second sub game had actually secured Queenstown victory to play in the finals against Queensway Secondary. So that means Amokyo Secondary will be playing in a third fourth placing with Fafio Metalus. But then uh, so what are your thoughts on this game? Um Wow, a very, very nerve wracking game, especially at the end. Um I think Amokyo definitely a bit it felt like it was a bit of a waste. You know, um, not coming here and not performing to the best of their standards. I think they definitely could have done a lot better. But, uh, you know, it's just how volleyball is. The better team walks away. So, Queenstown did play better here. Oh, ball coming. And, uh, the ball is safe. Oh, did hit us this time. Um, so, yeah, I guess um, so far good volleyball is being played between these two teams. Um, Queenstown do deserve to win because they play with more composure. And, uh, definitely had the uh, the mental edge over Amokyo. So um, now we're about to begin the uh, third subset, uh, but they are entering their warm-up stage. So stay tuned for the live coverage of our 3v3 B Division Girls South Zone semifinals between Queens Queenstown Secondary and Amokyo Secondary. We will be back in a minute.
Singapore live coverage of the 2021 National School Games B Division 3 v Volleyball. This is the, we are live from Mayflower Secondary and right now we are watching the South Zone Semi-Final a clash between Queenstown Secondary and Upper Secondary. So this is actually the third sub game. So before this, uh, Queenstown have actually won the first two sub games with a score of 2-0 and 2-1. Right now, uh, I think they just need to play their best so they can play, they can go home happily. And they will be playing a third and fourth, uh, Amakyo will play a third and fourth match with uh, Fairfield Metalist School, whereas Queenstown will be playing finals with Queensway Secondary. So we have the start of the third sub team of the semi-finals. Um, they see a service ace yes. from uh, sorry from Michelle of Amokyo. Amokyo now lead 2-1. Let me give a right rundown of the players of court. Number 11, Michelle. Number 7, Priscilla. And number 1, Grisha. Then uh, from Queenstown, we have number 4, Shanice. Yes. I think we started off to quite a slow start today. Oh, good start team. Good red across the net. We'll play the ball over. It's a free ball for Queenstown. Oh, and a tip by Tim. Oh, good save. Past two sub games that we have seen, we can tell that Amokyo actually lacks in communication because they actually got a lot more up, but they just didn't know who to get the next ball. Yeah. So I hope they can improve on that. I think it's uh, those type of situations that always happen a lot more than you think in volleyball. Like these type of balls where the ball's high, you can run a lot of things when the ball's in the air. Yes. Uh, you can run a lot of different plays as well. That's one thing Amokyo need to recognize. Oh, Priscilla kind of tips it into the net. Her approach was good. I don't think the, the swing was. Now. Regina spiking it. Oh, that was a good hit. Regina with all the necessary touches in that play. The ball was out, so now it's Priscilla with the slow. Oh. The ball's kept alive by Regina. It's a free ball. I'm sure that was like the, the ball did trickle over the net in Tinyi's uh, favour. Yeah, but I can tell she actually aimed for that. Oh. Oh. That was an underhand serve, but uh, I think she contacted the wrong part of the ball, so the ball went up instead of over the net. Oh, on the one of the balls. So. Gracia. Uh, it's a cut shot. She tried to go for it, but it did not went over the net. 
I think she should put a bit more strength towards it because she's already so far from it. And the ball is. It was a touch out just now. Now Shannon's with the serve. to the shoulder. The score now is a tie, 7-7. Seven to seven. Actually, I think one trend that we have is uh, Amonkil always seem to be leading at the start, but they always fall short at the end. So, definitely, communication plays a big role in the long run. The set. And the ace again by Shannis on Priscilla. Yes. I think uh, Kingstown is playing a late catch-up game every time. But they are always doing well in that aspect. Might just take a bit more time for them to warm up. Oh, Priscilla getting the ball up, but over instead. Regina with a spike and sails out. The score has come to a tie again, 8 to 8. We have Michelle with the serve. Yes! Pass was a little bit too low. Yes. Shannon's not really playing the ball upwards, just tapping the ball down. Yes. Now uh Chris Town set can actually call for a timeout. Mm -hmm. Uh so I think so far we've definitely seen um more perseverance from Queenstown, like we have seen in the last few sets. But uh right now things are looking quite bright for Amokil for the first time this game. Yes. Because they are very close to uh, winning this set, they are just two points away. But Kristal is actually showing behind with only one point. Yes. Very tight, very tight matches match up so far today. Shall we the serve? Oh, a good ball from Shannis. Finding both players at the front. Yeah. A good spike. Yeah. From yes, I think Michelle went a bit too forward before uh, Shannis even spiked, so she couldn't get the ball in time. Yeah. The timeout is now caught by Amokyo's hack because the score is now a tie. Yes, yeah. I think a bit of explanation on um, defense being played by Amokyo is uh, when the block goes up, uh, both defenders have to stay and like the view of the spiker so I think what Shannis uh, sorry not Shannis uh, what Michelle might have done wrong was uh, kind of go up too early before the block is even gone up yes. so that's why the ball was able to go so far behind her maybe Amokyo uh, lacking in a, a bit in the uh, execution of strategies so out ball a long serve by Regina, so now uh, Amakyo has gotten the set point. Priscilla with the serve. Oh. Oh. Scott now is tied. Both teams now at set point. Queenstown now serving. Oh, a substitution has been called. So number 20, Tian Yi is substituted with uh, number 18, Jermaine. Yes, Jermaine yeah. serves the ball over. It's a good pickup from Priscilla. Yeah. And a great take from her too. I'm going to go take the set. I think Queenstown might have thought it was uh, Xiao who is going for that attack, but it turns out it was Priscilla who went in for the attack. So this concludes the first set of the third sub game. Congrats to Pepeo for winning their first set of this subset. Yeah, oh yeah, first not set Pepeo. of this subset. Amokyo set, yeah. Yes, Amokyo so set. yeah, so the, the set ends 11-10. Very close score. Exciting match.
are live from Mayflower Secondary School, where we start the second set of the second subset between Abakil Sec and Queenstown Secondary. This is the semi finals of the South Zone B Division Girls 3v3 Volleyball. Right now, Queenstown lead with one game in the first subset up against Abakil Sec. Oh, sorry, this is the third subset. Uh, Queenstown are now through to the finals against Queensway. So I'm okay on trying their best now to just warm up themselves for the third fourth placing. Priscilla with a good spike there, yeah? Really good out by Janice. Mm. Priscilla keeps the ball in play. overrun the ball a bit. Mm. The ball is a bit too much on her left shoulder instead of her right. The ball goes over for Amokyo. Easy ball for Michelle though. But she sails it out. Narrowly misses mm. on camera. Now we have... Miki now with the serve. Placing the ball at the back of the court here. Gracia yeah, able to keep the ball in play. Kingstown leading 3 to 2. Good pick up from Michelle. Oh, but the set is very off. Oh, Abakil seemed to be let off in that one. With an error in the Kingstown set playing the first ball out. And we have Michelle to serve. Ball still in play. Shannis brings the ball over. It's a good set. Michelle, oh, but Michelle plays it too wide. For the past few balls, actually, Michelle has been hitting the bottom of the ball. That's why the balls, the spikes are a bit too high and out. So I hope she can very high serve as well. Mm. Very hard for the defenders to take. Mm. I think what Michelle has to do now is uh, really find her rhythm again and like correct her technique when it comes to spiking now. Because uh, she is kind of hitting the ball out too much for the team's liking. Priscilla at the net. Oh, a good spike, but it was picked up from Shannis. Oh. It was a good pick up from Regina, but she put it too close to the net for Tini to take. Now Abakil is catching up with Queenstown. 5 to 4. Jenny with a drop in the back. Oh, right back. beautiful ways. Grace is just playing the ball straight back over. Jenny's with the tip. Oh, that was a lucky shot again. It should go over the net. I think uh, the sticks in a row by Arnold Pilsack there. And able to get the point. It's always mistakes. That's a much better spike from Michelle, yeah. Holding her timing well. It was way better than a previous three spike that she made. Because the placement of the ball was very so good. Oh, too far. Yes. Well, 
Queenstown now leading the set by two points. Alright, yeah. Priscilla gets the ball over. Well. Can you see the spike? Oh, you're yeah. set right back. Got the shot, yeah. Always been a smart play against the uh, team, was it? Yes. I think um, what's been happening so far is a bit of a cycle, you know. Uh, Abaku can just can't seem to spike the ball hard enough down into them. So the timeout is called by uh, Amokyo Sec. So, Cecilia, what do you think uh, the Amokyo coach is uh, telling? players right now. I feel like at this point I think the coach is telling them to just be more proactive because uh could tell they are very stagnant at one position and they do not try to cover the empty spots. I I mean they got give their best effort but I feel like it can be much better. So I think also the I'm a girl coach is just telling them to just be calm. Alright time out is over. We have Regina serving for Queen Town. It's a good pick up for Priscilla. Let's see what Michelle can do. Oh, good spike by Michelle over there. Jenny is a good spike. Good pick up. Oh, that is too far. Oh. Big miscommunication there again. For both players. They just don't know who should run for that. Yes, communication. Regina again for the serve. Oh, send right over. Regina with a tip to the corner. Oh wow! Smart tip by Regina. Put it into the corner. Closest to the net. Right now it's the set point for Queenstown set. Okay, they have won this set. Queenstown set again. So the kill just stood there like statues for that ball. Yeah. So they will be playing a third set in this third sub game. Mm -hmm. So join us in a minute. Set of the final sub team game we have for the semi finals the B Division South Zone Girls. Right yeah. now, Queenstown are. Queenstown have uh, confirmed their place in the finals against Queensway and are now tied in the third set against the other kill set. Three ball over for Amaku. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, she almost touched the net over there, Michelle. Nice smart play by Regina. Playing the ball too. The previous score of the last set was 11 to 5, uh, with Kiss now winning in favor. So we're not sure about this third set if they were. Uh, Amakyo can get back because I feel like the previous set have uh, demoralized them a bit. So I hope, hope that Amakyo can get back. Queenstown are now having a strong start 2 0 above Amakyo. Oh. But an out ball is so.
Oh, Priscilla keeps the ball in play. Oh. Yeah, the ref does call. Because uh, Michelle had actually touched the net. Oh, a net touch by Michelle, yes. But there was a good off effort over there trying to send the ball back over. Priscilla with a good ball. Oh. A pretty steep spike for Michelle. Yes. Although she doesn't get so much power behind it, she does get the angle correct. I think a player like Priscilla does have a lot of potential to be a lot better, don't you think? Someone as tall as her and I think quite athletic as well. She yes. seems to be moving fine for someone quite tall. Yes, I agree. She's back to her old form where she's sitting out ball. So I hope that she can get it back together. Try to hit the ball for mm. Another miscommunication between uh, Amateur Sack. That was the second time the ball landed in the middle. First previous set, this happened as well. I think um, that ball definitely a big waste by Amokyo. Like the ball is so high, anyone could have gotten that ball, honestly. But I think sometimes in volleyball, even if the ball is high, and uh, you will start thinking, oh, this is such a, this is a free ball, so my teammate could get the ball. So that's when the miscommunication came. Coming. Oh, a lucky arm by Tien Tien Yi. Good rally going on here. Chance with the spike. Can you save it? Oh no, you can see um, Now they are switching side. You can see Michelle kind of jamming her knee quite hard into the floor there. I think um, when it comes to diving in volleyball, my god. Diving properly is really, really important so you don't injure yourself. Especially so the floor is such a hard ground. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, I think what she could have done better would would have been um, sliding on her chest instead or her stomach. Because uh, it's, a, it's a lot. Well, it's not your knees in state, so it's a lot safer that way. She could have uh, opened up her, her hips to the floor instead. Yes. I think for girls, uh, chest is a bit hard. Yes, uh, sorry, start, yeah. Much better hit for Michelle. Okay, good. Go. Yeah. 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 Back on the court. The ball does clip the line for that spike. And now Queenstown are leaving by 4 points. I think I'm a few leave their leaders a bit too empty because they tend to stand far apart from each other. So they tend to lose a lot of points over there. I think um, what Amakyo needs is more of a very strong defensively sound player. Yes. Because if both players are leaving the empty to open, it means both of them think that the other person is covering for them. So you definitely need someone to step up and take that role to stand in the center for them instead. That was a good pick up by Miss Lai earlier just now. But unfortunately, her teammates was not there to cover her. A timeout is called by Amakyo's head. So Nicholas, what do you think uh, will be the outcome of this match? Well, Queenstown is leading by quite a lot, so definitely my money is on Queenstown. Okay. The, yeah, uh, Amokyo don't really seem to be in good shape right now, especially defensively. But uh, you know, it's volleyball, anything can go. So we'll see how things are in the end. We have a substitution over here. Number 11, Michelle, is changed with number 15, Alicia. So number 4, Shanice, is serving. Oh, Alicia's first touch, not too bad for a first ball. Oh, it's an out ball. Oh, that was lucky because Elisha almost touched that ball. Yes, yeah, she did. She was. 
she was really into getting that ball, but uh, lucky for her she could make it. Yeah, a good first ball. I think uh, in that type of situation, Priscilla should have signaled to her teammate that she wasn't taking the ball because uh, it is a pretty unspoken rule like whoever's in front of you and in, in between you and the ball definitely will have to take it instead. Yes, we substitute back Elisha, uh, uh, Michelle to Elisha, so now Michelle is in the court. It's a free ball over and it's an out ball. Kingstown are now at match point. I think Priscilla and Yesha have snatched, like, had clashed in that box. A long serve. I think this point might be the last point of the day because uh, we know how good Queenstown is sometimes when they side out. Great serve from Michelle. Yes, but that, um, that almost went out, so I think she can be in lesson uh, uh, strength again. Mm -hmm. The score now is 10 to 6. It's a free ball over. Palmer kill. Michelle with a spy. A T. Oh, 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 was free ball. It's a free ball now. Oh, it's a free ball again. I'm gonna have to make something out of this. Oh, it's wasted again. And there are almost 20 touches already. Wow, and Amokyo wins it at the end of it. You can see all players super exhausted from that. I think also uh, Priscilla and Grisha have clashed a lot, so they might have gotten injured a bit from each other. Yes, yeah. Yes. So now it's a timeout. It seems that um, Amokyo are still hanging on mm. to this uh, set, even though Queenstown is at match point. Yes. You know, that, that whole long rally did show the determination Amokyo still have to win this set. They, re they only are just four points off from the game, too. It's a great thing to, be, uh, to see in this match because they're fighting for the ball. Okay, now it's back to Amokyo. So Stable serve is the way to go right now. Let's see if Michelle can deliver on that. Yeah! It's a great serve by Michelle. Let's see if Michelle can do it again. Good serve and another service ace from Michelle. They are now one point behind them. I think Michelle has served three service aces in a row. 
now it's match point for both teams. Wow. And the it team really that did happen. Well. And the team that win this boy will win this set. Wasn't it 10 4 just now? A timeout? It was about 10 4. See if Shannon can finish it. No. Michelle keeps it alive again. Shannon. It's a free ball for her. Yep. Yeah. A bit of an overpass from uh, Michelle. Hard for Grisha to pick it up. So Queenstown ends that match. Winners. You can see Shannis crying from uh, the stress of that last point. Wow. And so today we end the match with Queenstown secondary going to the finals to face Queensway Sec later this week. And Amokyo secondary will be facing um, Fairfield Methodist secondary for the third, fourth placing. Um, so before we end, uh, Cecilia. Who do you think is going to take away the South Zone champions later this week? I think this is too early to say, but I think because, because uh, both teams have a chance, but definitely uh, Queensway have better spiking, whereas uh, Queens now have better defense. So it might be a very tough match to tell from such an early stage. So yeah. So your money is kind of on Queensway, right? Uh, I can't pick. You can't pick. Yes. It's all right. I think for me, I think uh, I think Queensway is definitely the way to go because uh, we've seen the way Chloe Lim spikes and the other spikers, uh, Aviana and Ashlyn. Uh, I think definitely Queensway would be coming in as favourites uh, for the finals. Yeah. But uh, Queen's Love Baby will flip over the score and win. So, yeah. Alright, so that it, that's it for our Singapore live coverage of the 2021 National School Games B Division 3v3 Volleyball South Zone. So stay tuned because our next finals will be on this Wednesday. See you.